Hey guys, so that was modern. Now we will do expeditions. Uh, before we begin, I uh, yes, in this video I will address what I'm doing with the expeditions and etc. What I think the masterpieces will be, where I feel like these prices are going to end up, etc. etc. Well, first of all, lands are very good. Lands have always been very good. People have always wanted to pimp out lands. And I don't really believe these prices of this these lands will go down. So even if Misty Rainforest receives a reprint, which it will soon, I think this particular Misty Rainforest will hold this price extremely well. Now, there's different categories, right? There's different categories of lands. I would say fetch lands are the premium product. If you can get fetch lands, that is what you should get because that is a premium product. Then the shock lands are a secondary premium product. So that would be uh, something I would put as number two. And then the wastelands are the higher end stuff. I would put as number three because they're more expensive and they're harder to get into and then everything else. And the reason I would put fetch lands as one is because you need them in play sets. Uh, if you're building a modern deck, if you're building something else, for the most part, that's why I think Aether Vial is gonna be my go-to one, regardless of the price, because you need four Aether Vials. One Aether Vial is probably not gonna do you very much good because it's competitive. Competitive players are gonna be drawn to Aether Vial. So right now, I like these expeditions. I like the masterpiece concept. I think it is gonna be either, either now or very soon, it will be time for me to start building my collection of expeditions because the prices are low enough. Goddess Shrine at $70 seems like ridiculous, but that's what it is right now. Uh, a lightly played copy in TCG player. Uh, a lot of these prices seem extremely low to me right now. And I feel like having more expeditions and having more special sets, that's actually going to increase the value of these cards. So uh, because people want to build a whole collection, there will be that one dude who wants one of every ex masterpiece, uh, expedition, inventions, what else, whatever else comes out. And now it's a known quantity. So I think actually them producing more of them and having one in every 144 boost packs actually helps the older expeditions because it gives more hype to them and I love 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 fetch land expeditions I think that's what you should focus on or what I'm personally going to focus on is I'm going to try my best to you know come as close to a place as I can and I've saved money and I'm going to make a move on them sometime I'm assuming Caldes will drop and then people will spend a lot of money in Caldes they'll start selling expeditions they'll go down in price again and then that will be the point. But I'll, I'll make a separate video when I believe it is the lowest amount. Bye.